Yeah, I don't think we have any lithium. Hmm. Okay, well let's. Oh, let's check our seamoth, our seamoth cabinets. Maybe there's some in there. You realize you won't be able to fly away until you cure yourself. Absolutely. No, I, I def, I definitely know that. I just don't have anything else to do and no directive, so I'd feel that I might as well do this while I'm here. But yes, no, I definitely understand that. Okay, let's go, let's look for some lithium. If we can find some. You can't. Uh, maybe we can make another range upgrade? Yeah, let's, let's make another range upgrade and see if we can find some. I already told you! You need the blue. You go to the lava complex there and have a blue tablet to enter. No, I know that, but we don't have a blue tablet. We can't make a blue tablet, so I don't know where we'll get a blue tablet. The only tablet we can make is, uh, I think it's the orange one? Yeah, the orange tablet. So we have to find a blue tablet first, which is the problem. Let's go make a wiring kit. And, oh, we need some magnetite. That's right. I mean, I know that. I know that. I know what we need to progress the story. I just can't. You want me to tell you where the blue tablet is? Uh, not in today's stream. If if we're struggling with it tomorrow, and I ask, then then yeah, we'll 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 try and figure it out. But otherwise, I, we'll we'll try and look for it ourselves today. All right, lithium. Is there any lithium? Data box? What the shit? There's a data box somewhere? Let's go see what that is. That's weird. Huh. That's really strange. I'm going to discover what this is, and it's gonna be beautiful. It's probably literally nothing, but it could be something cool. So let's check it out. This is the tablet, this is also the blueprints for the batteries and the power cells. Oh, for ion batteries and power cells. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's scanning an empty data box. That makes sense, so we don't need that. Yeah, I know, I know. I just, I don't know where that is. I assume it's pretty deep down, but we've been pretty deep down and I couldn't find anything, but we'll, we'll, we're gonna go back, we're gonna go back. Keepo in the depot. Oh, we need to eat soon. So defo wanna go there. Yes, we do. And we will, soon. Yeah, so I think we're gonna try and go the alternate deep route. The one we haven't the one we haven't gone down yet and see if that is uh is where the blueprints might be. Possibly. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright. Doing funny lithium. It's scanning reef backs, that's awesome. Look at that. Reef back right there. Alright, well I know where we can find some lithium, so we'll just go there to get it. On the surface I know where we can find some. Um, let's eat real quick. I think it is where the things you need are. I agree. Ooh, my health is really low. I didn't really realize that. Anyway. Be warned you need two purple ta tablets to get the blue tablet and the blueprints. Oh, hey, that's good to know, actually. Yeah, that that is, that is a tip that I would like to hear. Oh, you know what? I think I remember there being a place that I needed a purple tablet to unlock that I didn't have the purple tablet with me when I went to. 
Problem is, I don't really remember where it is. Which is really unfortunate. <gasps> oh no, 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 no. Oh wait, no, I think I do remember where it is. Maybe? I'll go, I'm gonna go look where I, where I think I remember, possibly. Maybe. Or one, depending on if you get used up when you use them to unlock stuff or not. DJ Sidamara, he will probably guide you. That's that's true as well. That's true as well. Um, which we'll see. I'm pretty sure I know where it is though. Though it's a good. There's a good chance DJ might not be since he's in LA right now. I'm sure he can do it better than you. Probably because he's probably he's done it like tens of times probably. Oh yeah, lithium. We're going to get lithium, which means high priority passengers. In the mushroom forest we go. This stuff is literally laying all over the ground in the mushroom forest. I can guide you in Witcher 3 though. Yes, you can. And quite a few other games as well, Elvar. Like, imagine I was playing L.A. Noir right now. It is something. Actually, it's something quite significant. That is a huge game. Although I don't really need it in Witcher until we get to the DLCs. But you can guide me. You can. You have my respect for that. Oh, The Witcher 3! Such a beautiful game. I agree, Fem. I know I'm... In Intentionally misinterpreting what you're saying, but still, I agree. <laughs> Reason that's so damn popular? It's because it has a compelling story to most people. If you don't think so, that is by all means your opinion to have. But most people think it has a pretty com compelling and decent story. It definitely hurts your opinion of the game that you don't like the protagonist very much. Most people really like the protagonist, including me. So that's also part of it. And it, it revolutionized the way people look at open world games. Extensiveness of the research and the type of effort in detail and uh, writing that goes into games as well. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Elvar said it. And turned them into art from shit. <laughs> like, get 10 bear skins. Yep. It, it, it changed it from what Skyrim side quests are to what side quests are kind of expected to be for a good game nowadays. That is a big chunk of it as well. And all the stuff I said. But again, if you don't like the narrative and the writing, then you're not gonna like the game. So, it makes sense to me that you don't like the game since you don't like the narrative and the writing. I imagine you probably wouldn't like the books very much either. And they're very well liked as well. <laughs> oh, if only we had our prawn suit, we could get so much lithium here. That would be nice. We have a single lithium right now. Exactly what I need. Except not really at all. The only thing you can really attack is the combat system. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can. And I agree. It's not bad. It's just special. 30 seconds. Oops. I think we should be fine here. 10 that would have been problematic. I'll pass on the books. Yeah, I, I actually haven't read the books yet. Although I kind of want to. I want to read the Metro books as well. They're right up there with Lord of the Rings for me, which makes, which was also quite boring in my opinion. Really? I really like the Lord of the Rings. Though again, I really like fantasy. And if you don't really like fantasy, then you might not like Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings defined how fantasy is written now. So if you like fantasy, it's fairly necessary, not necessary, but 
for educational purposes, if you like fantasy, it is good to read um, The Lord of the Rings because um, their author defined modern fantasy in the way he interpreted things like elves and the way systems in Middle-earth worked. A grim, dark, and evil world, not a happy rainbow thing? Yeah, possibly. No, it just seemed unnecessarily verbose? Yeah, maybe. Lots is unnecessarily, yeah, it is, it, it's, that's true. He was a brilliant author and he did like to show off, absolutely. I mean, he wrote his, he wrote an entirely new language for the books, like holy shit. He was also an extremely, a world-renowned um, linguist on top of being a brilliant author. Be done in like two. See, I like that, I like unnecessary verboseness. Cause I like things to be, when I read, I like things to be really in intimately described, but a lot of people don't like that. They, they like more stark stuff, which is absolutely understandable. And that's actually a problem that a lot of people have with the fantasy genre in general, is that it's too verbose in, like, overall the entire genre is. Do you get tired from reading why read books? Well, because you don't, you might not get tired from reading all books. All right, we have enough li enough lithium now, but I would like to find a little bit more. Creature egg. We get really we still haven't made an alien containment vessel, which I kind of want to do at some point. Oh, huh? I've never been down here. Oh, there we go. There's some lithium. Whoa! Look at this place. This is cool looking. I get tired from reading reading bad books. That's fair. All right, we need to get to the surface. What the shit is this? Oh my god! It's another teleporter. Holy shit! How did I never notice this? I found a thing. This one has different stuff in it. We gave details on everything. Oh, that's true as well. That's true. He was intentionally revamping the fantasy genre. That's a good point, Elvar. That is, that is a reason for the overwhelming detail. Oh, I hate that we can't, we can't activate these things. Is like Hemingway versus Faulkner, yeah. Hemingway with his ridiculous starkness, the <laughs> incredible brevity that he writes with. And I really don't write, like write, reading Faulkner. Though Faulkner is a good author, he is one that I do not enjoy the content of his of his, of what he writes about usually. The genre didn't even really exist before Tolkien. Yes, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's. That's, that is true. That is a fair point. It was more mythology, and he took popular mythology and changed it around to be, to become fantasy. Well, shit, I, I wish we could activate this thing, and we can't even scan it either. There must be a fourth one. This is the third one we found, and this is the only one that has these pillars, and also the only one that has these weird top things. We enjoyed Faulkner quite a bit, but Hemingway was terrible. Yes. Um, I would say that I enjoy Hemingway more than I enjoy Faulkner, though I'm not very extensively read on on either. Well, shit! I really wanted to do something with this. Not surprised that someone pressed Divinity Games could never have existed. That is true. Well, I would say would have looked very different. How about that? <laughs> That's true, Delva.
But again, just because you don't like a book doesn't mean you don't like the things that spawn from a book. Let's be gentle. Verbosely only because it paid more, not because it actually added to the story in any way. Oh, I know! And in a lot of ways, Hemingway didn't write very verbosely. Isn't isn't Hemingway the founder of... Not the founder, but one of the most renowned... Um, authors that pushed for brevity in writing like isn't he known specifically for the fact that he isn't verbose that he intentionally diverges from verbosity how about we are sharp not gentle we don't catch criminals by being gentle that's right he is Hemingway I'm pretty sure Hemingway is renowned for being non-verbose and masculine he, he liked to define masculinity in like a lot of super weird ways like eating eggs was one of his big things. That pretty much was Faulkner. Oh, interesting. Wow, that's weird. That's like everything I was ever taught about literature in all my literature classes said that that was Hemingway. Maybe they were, they must have been wrong, I guess. Huh. Or maybe I am confusing the two. I don't know. I probably am just confusing the two. All right. Let us move forward since we can do nothing with this though now we do know that underneath this big tree inside of this area there is a another teleporter that we can access from very close to where we're at which is great the two are best friends so a lot of people compare their writing material interesting okay that's kind of cool to hear i didn't know that all right let's go back let's head back I didn't read much Hemingway, but from the lectures we had, um, he struck me as anything but not ver verbose. Well, then I'm probably reversing the two, uh, Elvar. And Fim, both of you. I'm probably wrong. Not best friends. Some stipulate they were lovers. Ah. Actually, I think I've heard that rumor before. I think those, those types of rumors are always, or stipulations, I guess you could say, are always really fascinating because it was so um, socially stigmatized to be homosexual back then. It's so it's really hard to know which ones were. And there's so which people were. And there's so many different examples of people really famous people that they think were and just closeted. I think that's fascinating. No, I meant that he was not Vermose. Oh, oh, okay. Well then maybe he was not Vermose. Maybe I'm right. Anyway, either way. It, it doesn't it is neither here nor there. Anything but verbose is what I meant. That is, that is what I've heard as well. But again, it really, it doesn't matter. So it's not a big deal. Some stipulate that they are lovers. Also, I didn't know that being lovers meant you cannot be best friends. <laughs> That's true. That is a good, that is a good point, though. <laughs> One is not withstanding from the other. That is that is absolutely true. They were more than best friends, even. Let's let's say that. <laughs> That's a good point, Alpha. <laughs> kind of besides the point, but a good point nonetheless. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's eat some food. Also replant. Take some agua, and let's make some plasteel. Some more plasteel to be specific. They pay me for making good points, is that right? I had no idea. I really did not know that. But I, you live and you learn, Elvar. You live and you learn. You do have a wiring kit, correct? Yeah, okay. Oh no, you're right, Triangle. Oh, okay. 
Interesting. Yeah, I'm never sure, because a lot of that stuff I haven't read in a long time. And uh, also, it's, you know, it gets confusing with a lot of those authors as well. Ha! Oh, I knew we were right! Hey, I am oft- I will say that I am often wrong. <laughs> so I am readily available to admit that I may be wrong about something. Occasionally, though, I do get- I do get something right. Old Man this he was anything but- yeah, yeah. Because I think it- I think it was the opposite. I'm pretty sure it was Faulkner who was super verbose in a lot of hints. Oh, shit! We forgot to make Aerogel. Because I remember reading Faulkner and being like, holy shit, this is so tedious. <laughs> um, but yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm always right so I can never be wrong sometimes. Elvar, you are... <laughs> you are, I am sure, often very wrong. <laughs> As we all are, because we're all human. Alright, uh... What? God damn it! I can't remember what we, what we needed. Oh, oh yeah, gels, gels. We needed gels. Ruby. I think we have Ruby. Have you ever read *Metamorphosis* by Kafka? I have not actually. Is it good? Rubies. Okay. Well, I need two gels. Have you ever even been wrong on this stream before? Um, about games, yes. About things that I express opinions about, yes, because I have innately flawed opinions, as does everyone, because everyone has to take an opinion on something, um, which implies that you have to create a hard stance on something, and hard stances are almost always wrong, but, about normal things like this? Probably not, because normally I don't talk about things um, without some reason, some level of certainty. But also, I like to avoid controversial discussions on stream, um, because it makes for a much more pleasant experience. So, also that. All of the above. Oh, it's depressing, Fim says. Interesting. Well, then, <laughs> then I'm kind of glad I didn't read it. I haven't read it. But also, I kind of want to read it now. <laughs> that makes me both want. I cannot recall a single situation. And, Elvar, that would be because of all of the things I just said. I am often wrong, but when I am wrong, I usually uh, have an idea that I'm extremely ignorant on the subject, and therefore I try not to speak about it. Because I am ignorant in a lot of things. Including literature, actually. Um, I am by no means well-read, but I have read quite a lot. But a man who felt so terrible about himself that he was similar to a cockroach in life. That sounds super depressing. That sounds super depressing. Holy shit. Oh my god, that sounds awful. Crystalline Silver. Ion Power Cell! Okay, this is the mark where we can no longer go forward. This is it, right here. It was horrible to read. Dang. Do you want to lose your membership again? It's been revoked! Wow, look at that. That is some shit right there. This thing looks awesome. Okay. What is the next part to build? A Neptune Fuel Reserve. That's why. Because we don't have ion power cells. <laughs> Stop with the incorrect quote. Or you will be. Membership removed. Activate elevate. Oh, we can go up! No way! Oh my god! This is awesome! This is so freaking cool. That is incredible. And this is how we're gonna get into it. This is how we're gonna get into our rocket ship. <laughs> oh, that's so cool! That is so freaking cool. Here's our rocket ship we're building! Oh my god, we gotta take a screenshot. With our knife out as well. I don't think I've ever been wrong about a game on this stream. Oh god, you totally have been wrong so many times, Elvar. <laughs> we both have been wrong about games so many times. Oh, uh, alright. Let's get down from here. Oh, oh god. See ya, Jasper! Enjoy your sleep, my friend. And have a great one. Alright, so now that we have our Sheikah Slates. We need to find the area 
where the ion power cells are. Now, I think they might be 